Ready? Five. Good morning. It's Always in Stitches again, our little short videos that we do to show you so many fun things happening in the store. This morning, we're going to focus on notions. So, you know, anything you make, it's always fun to have great fabric and great yarn and great um, wool and all those fun things. But you got to have the tools because it's the toys that make the project fun, right? It's all the little, um, well, it's just the trip tick tips and tricks that make your techniques turn out. For years, I'll tell a little story on myself. For years, I used a chopstick to push things under my sewing machine. Well, you know what? They make a tool for that. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. You don't have to use a chopstick. My chopstick works, but they make a tool just for using on your sewing machine that's even better than a chopstick. So let me just start with our notions department. We have an entire three cubbies almost full of nothing but notions. And, you know, this is one in particular, little planner pins. We have a lot of the Lori Holt stuff. Her stuff's just fun. Let's just, let's just be honest. It's fun. It's cutesy. It's really a big thing right now. So we have a nice selection of Lori Holt's notions and project bags. And we've even got, we've even got puzzles. So our family every year for Christmas, on Christmas Day, we do a puzzle. And so I'm always looking for fun puzzles to do. Um, and we've got not just Lori Holtz puzzles, but we've got all kinds of different puzzles that you can put together. So it's not something you would necessarily expect to find in our store, but it's something fun. We do a lot of little gifty things too. So we're going to just tour around real quick um, and show you some of the great things that we carry for notions and, and fun projects. Here's little yo-yo makers. Yo-yos have been made from, gosh... How many oh, yo-yos have you seen, Peter, over the years? I've seen yo-yos forever. I don't ever remember not seeing yo-yos. I only, honestly, I only started seeing them when Dawn made one in How to Make a Yo-Yo video no way. on our YouTube Where channel. Where have you been? Yo-yos are know. like the forever always thing. Okay, well, anyway, we've got every size yo-yo maker you want. Lots of little tools. You know, used to be we used a piece of cardboard, but, you know, the Clover Company were so smart they figured out how to make this little tool that makes it easier. And frankly, this works better because the cardboard wears out. And it's not very expensive. These are great stocking stuffers. I mean, I know Christmas is coming. It's time to start thinking about what are you gonna carry for Christmas. We carry nice little things like this. Get some fabric, put this in a package, give it to maybe one of your grandkids or somebody um, that's maybe not able to be mobile um, and make yo-yos. Yo-yos are great. So we have yo-yo makers. We have containers to hold things storage bins, and then lights. Oh my gosh, let there be light. Um, right here we have all kinds of lights. I can tell you that I have this one. Honestly, I have actually, <laughs> I have one and my husband has one above his chair because he ties fly fishes. Or no, wait a minute. He ties flies for fly fishing. <laughs> <laughs> he ties fishing flies. That's the word. Uh -huh. He has one of these. This lamp is great. I have one over my chair because I sit in my chair and do English paper piecing. I'm going to put another one in my sewing room just because I want more light. These are great lamps. But we carry lights. Um, you know, we've got spotlights that you can hang around your neck. This one you can kind of put over a book. We've got them um, that are just to put over one table area. These are, again, another great Christmas gift. If you would want it wrapped, we'd love to wrap things. We're happy to do that for you. Um, and we have books. We have, um, right now, in the quilting, like Josephine Holtz, these are um, all kinds of books that are novels, um, fictional novels about uh, quilting and series of books. We've got some real big book readers in our staff, and so it seems like they're like, oh, this is a really good book. And we'll have to pick it up. Again, great stocking stuffer. If you got a, a friend that quilts and is a bookworm as well, these are great opportunities to get some really fun books. So, I mean, that's kind of notions, yes, but more than that. Um, so, we kind of blazed past scissors. I did the center thing. We've got all kinds of scissors. Every shape. <laughs> How many scissors do you have, Peter? <laughs> I think I have three. Really? Okay. Uh huh. My gingers, uh, an embroidery pair of scissors, and then a pair of the plastic handled Fisker scissors. Well, 
I'd have to confess How many it. do you have? I probably have more than that already. It's it's kind of a sad thing because you get one pair that does one thing and you love, and then you get another pair that does something and you love those. There's all different kinds of shapes and sizes and scissors. Again, this is a great gift for somebody if they're looking. Um, I got to use these in a class. Those, those are my are favorite. Fun. These snips are I fabulous. Love those. They're like little bitty, teeny tiny, super, super sharp. You're getting those little threads. Oh those yeah. Pesky threads. And they squeeze. So this kind of, it's not tired on your hand. When spring loaded. You, they're I love spring that. loaded, yeah. They're really, really fantastic. Seam rippers. If your seam ripper's not working, it could be dull. You don't sharpen a seam ripper. It's like a disposable razor. Once it's dull, you replace it. But that point in there gets dull. If you've got the same seam ripper you've had for 40 years, it's time for a new seam ripper. Just buy one. You'll be glad you did. Um, okay, turning tools. Okay, I told you about my chopstick. This guy was tag tagging you on a little bit. Is it the purple It's the purple thing. thing. It's the purple. And it's look, it's called the purple thing. Oh, can I tell you a secret? What? So when I started shopping here 10 years ago, that was the first thing you sold me. You're what kidding. was the purple thing? I it's still the, have it. It's like it. my yep. favorite thing. Honest to goodness, I think I have two. So here's what's so cool about the purple thing. If you don't have a purple thing, you need a purple thing. It's four bucks. It is the best four bucks you've ever seen because it does everything. So on the end of the purple thing, can you see it? See that square? Hold on. Hold on. See my square? Put it up against that. I'm trying to zoom in. Can you get it? Kind of, yeah. Kind of, yeah. Okay. So that square is a quarter inch square. Do you know how many times I'm working on something and I'm like, okay, I need that to be a quarter inch. And I just lay that little box on there and it's exactly a quarter inch. I can measure my quarter inch. And then for pushing, like if I'm pushing fabric or if I need to poke out a corner, that's what that part's for. So that's my poker, my pusher, you know, sliding fabric under the needle. When my fabric, if I'm quilting, if I'm, putting pieces together and the fabric folds the wrong way, I can slide the foot up and stick this in there and straighten it out. And then this little slot in here, I can use to pull things and turn. So I can put a piece of ribbon through there and then I can pull that through and it's a turner too. Oh, the cool. oh, Didn't know that about your purple thing. I forgot thing. about that, yeah. yeah. So this is like the best tool. Everybody should have a purple thing. If you don't, you need one. So that's my favorite. <clears throat> that, um, and then we have, okay, my next favorite thing is this stiletto tool. This is a great one, too. It's by Annie. It's a nice, sharp point. I do a lot of bags, and I like this for that point. And then the bottom. You don't make a bag without that, do you? I don't. And then this is a flat you can press with that. So it's it's like a finger press, but you can use that to press with. And it's pretty. I like it because it's, it's cool. cool. It is very pretty. So that's another tool. You know, bobbins. Oh, and then there's needles. I yeah yeah. I just got to work on a project that had, um, I didn't have the right size needle, and so I bought this like big honkin for everything you could ever possibly need. <laughs> and I'm really glad I did. I love that craft pack. I do too. It's got every needle you ever need. I just like knowing I'm ready. I'm prepared. I know. And that's what happened. I was like, I need a needle, and I need it to be just this certain size. And I didn't. And I went through everything. I didn't have what I needed. So that's good. Um, Sewing machine needles, if you're not replacing your sewing machine needle all the time, you should. Every pr project deserves a new needle. Just That's your rule. Pins and and binder clips. Okay, have you not used binder clips? Because if you have Those are my favorite. I love the minis, like the yes. piecing. Where's the itty bitty bitty nose the, ones? I use They're the baby there. ones. Instead of using pens, yes. I just use the clips for my for piecing. So these have a little up seams. Really I love bitty them. nose on them. Oh, They're like tiny. There. They're tiny. That's what a oh, quarter of an inch. Those. They make me so happy. They do make me happy too. Quarter inch. These are more like a half an inch, and they have lines on them. So there's marks that you can tell where your half inch, your quarter inch lines. You can't see them from this side, but they're there. And then we have the big ones, the jumbos. Too. Oh, I didn't see those. I love my jumbos. How, I use what are my those jumbos. For? Hair clips. Um, <laughs> yeah, hair clips. We'll Virginia. see. Virginia will put them in her hair. We have a staff member who has hair clip story. It's it's funny. Ask us. But no, I'll use these for for bigger things. When I, especially when I'm making bags, sometimes I need a big clip or binding. Oh, for all the for the twelve layers of vinyl. For the twelve layers of vinyl I'm trying to sew that my machine's going. Eh. So binder clips. If you don't, if you're not using these, start using them. You'll never go back. I mean, you, you won't you won't get over these. I gotta put these back right. I get in trouble. Okay. Thimbles. 
thimbles, you gotta have thimbles, those are super important. So we're gonna sneak around the corner here. This, we're gonna get photobombed or we're gonna photobomb them, I'm not sure which. Thread. I'm right behind you. behind you with the video. So just say hi. Hi! Hi! hi. We're, we're shopping. We're shopping, we're shopping thread. Yeah. thread. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's Give the next thing advice. I'm gonna talk about is thread. Lots of thread. Okay. Lots of orophil thread. We have glide thread. Um, any kind of thread you need, let us know because we can fix you up. We've got it for the sergers. We've got it for embroidery machines. Um, your thread matters. If you're still using Grandma's thread that's on a Coates and Clark, not to be bad about a company, but if it's still Grandma's thread on an old Coates and Clark wooden spool, you need to not be using that. You need to use some new thread. Okay, let's talk about cutting mats and rotary cutters. Rotary cutters changed the quilting world. They absolutely gave us an entire new way to cut. So we have all different sizes of rotary cutters. I have in my collection, I have this small one because I like it for going around little things. Mm -hmm. I love the baby one. I love the baby one. I also have the 45 millimeter one, which I use most of the time. Um, that one's got a really nice weight to it, doesn't oh, it? Because when you were demoing dream. that one time. Yep. I love this. I love this. This is my Auto favorite, hide. favorite. If you guys want to come in and test this, she's not inexpensive. I'll just tell you. But your your projects are only as good as the tools you use. I mean, if, if I always use poor quality tools, my projects are not always going to turn out the best. I want to have the best opportunity I can to make the best project I can, and investing in my tools and notions is part of what's going to make that happen. This is a great rotary cutter. If you want to test it, come in. We've got them loose that you can try it and see. You will never use another rotary cutter you like better than this. Um, we do have ergonomic ones that you can use. You know, these are a little better set for your hand. We used to have one that you could just put on the end of your finger, but I don't see it. Um, chenillets, blades, replace your blades. That's the other thing. It's the same thing as not using a good needle. Put a new blade in your rotary cutter. It's like butter. You know, it's the most awesome thing to have a nice, sharp rotary cutter. That's a great day for me. Mats. I'm going to show you a Martelli mat. I've got one over here right quick. This is the Martelli mat. And if you guys have seen me talk about it before, so I can turn, 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 turn. If you have very little space, um, this is a great choice because you can cut just about anything on it and you can do it very quickly. So I love my Martelli mat. The best mat out there honest to goodness, for small space. Big counter mats are a different thing, but this Martelli is the bomb. And we have quite a few of those. Again, this would be another great Christmas gift. Um, and I, you know, I know it's only October, but gang, Christmas is like right here. And this is the stuff we never have during Christmas. We don't. It's Because it's out. already been snatched it's up. It's sold. Templates, you never have enough templates. This is my new favorite. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is the bomb. Oh, wow. That is nice. No, wait a minute. I'm lying. That's not... This one. Oh, the big easy. The big, big, big one. This one is fabulous. I thought, how could That's I That's not going to ever slip. I know. And I noticed to tell you, I was like, what would I do with one this big? I use it all the time. All the time. It's my new favorite. That's one you want. Okay, so there you go. Grids, we've got grids, we've got templates. What size do you want, people? I got every size you can imagine. So, and then we have our ironing stations. So here we go. The pads to put your iron on. Oh, this is the binding. I have this on my iron. I love it. I need that. I love it. Here, we'll just take that. We'll put it back. We'll put it back on your desk. Um, the ironing sheet. This I use so that when I'm ironing with the. Um, Fusible things it doesn't mess up my ironing board or mess up my iron because I lay that on top of it. It's a it's a really nice uh, We oh. used that on vinyl didn't we? We did use it on vinyl. Glass. It's a fiberglass so it sheet. It. Mm -hmm. it doesn't melt the vinyl it kind of it's just a good it's, This is a great great piece you need to have we're gonna have to just do demos on all these things Bitty irons. I love this little mini iron. Oh my gosh. They are great. It's cute, but it's also functional It's great for getting in and just doing a seam at a time um, and this gets stinking hot, I'll just tell you. Oh, look, they got a little holder for it. I didn't know they made a holder. Yeah. I've totally got to have cool. that. Look, it's a little ceramic thing to well, sit on, Well, let's take too. that off and put it on your desk. Okay, take that off on my desk. <laughs> this is why we come out here so this we can This is fun. Shop. We're doing videos We're and shopping. shopping at the same time. We do carry irons as well. So, um, lots of things to think about when it comes to an iron. 
We've been I out of a lot of these. Out. This is the fullest I've ones. ever seen this shelf. Yeah, we finally got some of the big ones again. Oh, oh there's there that. A big iron. Maven. Ooh. This is the, this is the one I have. I love her. She was she was steaming things this morning because you can use it as a steamer, not just an iron. And it holds so much water, you it don't does. have to keep refilling it. She's the best. She's the best. The best. I also have a little one of these because this is just a nice one to go into little places. Here's the other thing that's cool. So this comes with, that's how it rests. So see, it's like a little heat pad that it sets on. But when it stores, it goes into this thing and it slides. See how that all goes around it? Why am I just not buying this out? I know, so this, I know, this is not, I gotta get it in there. But it's it stores in this part. So there we go. See that? So when you store it, that covers it. But when you want to just use it, you just turn it over and that just it sets on it. Cool. Is that great? That's I'm great. All in one package. Okay. Now we're not quite done. Oh, did you get a shot of the stencils there? Quilting stencils. We all still use quilting stencils, I suppose, to mark things. I, I don't do a lot of quilting, in the sense of finished quilting. I pay somebody to do mine, but for those of you looking for stencils, we do carry, and we change these out. We we. We have a few right now, and those will change out. We'll get more in all the time. But that's where you use your pounce and make your stencil in there. I'm not going to things down. Okay. Let's go around the corner and show them the other two things. That's primarily, I mean, if we don't have it, ask us. We can tell you where it's at, because if it's not right here. Um, and then this is kind of our Kimberbell zone, where we have a lot of the Kimberbell accessories. It's our machine embroidery area as well. You're going to find all your stabilizers. Um, your vinyls, your zippers. Those of you who do machine embroidery, okay. this is going to be like your oh, playland right, I'll put right your here. Name on it. And it's fairly extensive. Um, we do. We are a Kimberbell certified store, and so that means that you know we do offer classes that not other stores are allowed to offer because we are certified as a Kimberbell dealer. So we've got lots of CDs with the embroidery designs on them. Some of them are just stitching designs too. You don't have to have an embroidery machine. You can make these bench pillows without, matter of fact, I even made this one at one point and it was just precious. It was so much fun. Great instructions, great scrap busters too. These projects are great scrap busters. And people like to receive them as gifts. I mean, really do. We do have some of our kits left, Mary and Bright kits. Uh, here's a tea party kit. Um, this is Garden Guild kit. So these are the complete embroidery kits that have the CD, how to make it, or thumb drive. And oh, here's one for Halloween. Halloween. Too, Too cute, cute to, to spook. spook. I love that one. So those are the kits That's if a good you want. One. That is a great one. More thread. This is specifically good for embroidery machines, so it's kind of why it's in this department. Some more thread here. Well, we just have lots of nooks and crannies. You got to spend some time. And then the last place I'm going to take you is my favorite because here they say Cappy's a bag, and I am. <laughs> so we make, we have handbags and lots of handbags here. I think our newest thing in the notions department is we're now carrying vinyl. So this is a vinyl um, combined with a fabric. Not hard to sew. It can very be good. easy to very sew. Easy if to I sew. can sew it, guys, you can sew <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, Peter made it. And then look at all the vinyl colors. We oh, have. exploded! We exploded! We've got navy. We've got pink. We've got aqua. There's a real pretty mustard down here. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's a nice honey brown. So these are all little chunks of vinyl. Big chunks. Big chunks of vinyl. This Those piece right little. here. Okay, this is an 18 by 25. I just made a handbag out of this. It is stinking cute. $10.99 was all I had to pay for the for the faux leather, wink, wink, nod, but you can't tell it's not leather, you really can't, um, to make that bag. And it's it's really kind of almost less than the fabric in some ways. The finish is amazing. So, bags notions. We've got zippers. We've got patterns. If you want to make a bag, it's easy. It's a great start. And people are so impressed. You'll be in a store and they're like, oh, I love your bag. And I made it. And they're like, what? You made that bag? Yes, I did. I like the bags because they're so useful and you can yes. find a way to carry them every day. I have a yep. craft bag I made that is lives in my tote. And then I have that um, vinyl bag that I took your class, which I absolutely love. It's fun. Bags uh. are fun. 
And what makes them bling are these accessories. So this you is what sends them. You made that one, didn't you? Did you make that one down there? Yes, I did. This is a recent one. Look at, yeah, this one's fun. Look how fun this one is. Let's show that one off. Let's show that one off because we actually still have this fabric. So this one's fun. Look at the pockets. I love how they fold over and the cute buttons on it. And it makes for lots of storage. This is a great beginner bag, honestly. Anybody can make this. It is super simple. Look at all the pockets inside. Isn't that fun? I mean, you got every pocket you would ever need. Man, that's... It's a perfect bag. Yeah, it is. It's just a good size. You know what? I should take this bag to put our stuff to take back to our desk. Yes, you should. I think we're probably out of time. I may be a little so. over. Yep. This has been great. It's so fun to visit with you guys every morning. I hope you've seen something that stirs your interest in coming in and shopping with us. Um, website is www.alwaysinstitches1.com. Phone number is 317-776-4227. Call us, shop with us, happy stitching.